In today's video, I want to come straight out from the bat and tell you that you're only paid what your job's worth. So what do I mean about that? Well, for many of us, when we meet someone for the first time, one of the first things that people ask us is, what do you do for a living? It's as though what you do for a living is the most important thing about you. It lets people judge who you are. And the problem with that is that for the most part, people judge us by what we do for a living. And so if you're in a well-paid job, you're going to be judged differently than if you're in a low-paid job. And that's all well and good. However, when you think about it this way, if an executive left his job and went on strike for a month, most of us wouldn't notice it. However, if the people who collect our rubbish go on strike for a month, we'd notice it very, very quickly. And so it doesn't always mean that having a well-paid job makes you more important. But the other thing, of course, is when somebody advertises a position and a job, what they actually do is advertise a position, tell you what they want, what they're looking for, and what they then do is find someone who can fill the role. They don't go out and say, we're looking for John to do this job. They don't know who the person is that's going to apply for it for the most part. And so they're only offering what the job is worth. For most of us, what happens is this. Many of us leave school, college, university, whatever, and go looking for our first job. And I don't know about you, but for many people, that first job you go looking for isn't your ideal one. It's to get you in the workplace. And yet so many people go to that first job and then they go to a next job, which is something like the first job, and another job, which is something like the second job. And so you follow on down a route you hadn't really planned when you first went looking for work. And so it's very likely that there's a good chance that you go end up going for a job that isn't what you originally wanted. And so the fact that you're only paid what the job is worth ties in, you know, to how you feel about yourself. If you're in a lowly paid job, chances are you're not going to feel great about yourself. If you're in a higher paid job, there's a chance that your self-esteem's a little bit higher. But here's the thing. You shouldn't really judge yourself by the job that you're doing. Because truth be told, you're actually worth so much more than whatever your job is going to pay you. How do I know this? Let's look at this for an example. Just imagine I came looking for you and uh, we're sitting talking and I say to you, how much do you want for your right leg? You go, sorry? I say, how much do you want for your right leg? I'll give you 10,000 pounds for it. You'd turn around and go, you're stupid. There's no chance I'm doing that. And suppose I said to you, okay then, I'll do you a deal. I'll have your right leg and your right arm for 40,000 quid. Would you take it? Absolutely not, would you? And this is my point. We go to jobs and we take this job at whatever the wage slip is and we start to value ourselves by what that wage is. And the truth of the matter is there is no job anywhere that will pay you what you're actually worth. And so it's something we really should be learning quite early in our lives is that you're not paid for your value. You're paid what the job is worth. In my case, I can remember owning my own business. I worked long, hard hours. And in the beginning, for very little money. In fact, if I talked about my hourly wage, it would be next to nothing. But I run my own business. And then I lost my own business. And so there was a period with two small boys and a wife. I went looking for a job 
and the only one that I could find at the time was lowly paid. But I took it. And I took it because I needed the money. And even though I took it because I knew I needed the money, I knew that I was worthy of more money than I was getting. But at the time, that was all I could get. And so I did it. It was a lowly-ish job in the company that I worked for. But very soon, I got promoted and got a bit of a better job and got a little bit more money. And they looked at me as though that was going to be my path forward to work for this company. But it wasn't. That wasn't what I wanted to do. It was a means to an end at the time. And I eventually went and started working for myself again. And once again, I worked more hours than I did in a job for less money per hour. But it was the fact that I valued myself more than what my job was worth that was important to me. And I think it should be to you. Now, I'm not saying that if you enjoy your job and you like where you work, that you should go and leave because they're not paying you enough. But what I'm saying is don't judge yourself and don't rate yourself by what you're getting as a pay packet because you're worth more than that. In fact, we're all worth more money than what we get in the jobs that we do. And so what I'm trying to get across, and it may be cack-handedly, and it may not be very well put, but my point is this, you are worth more than whatever you're gonna get paid for at work. You're worth more to your family, to your friends, worth more. But at the end of the day, the person who matters most is you. And you need to realize that you're priceless. You're worth more than your job is. And you mustn't allow yourself to think of yourself at a certain level because of the pay packet you receive. Because at the end of the day, you are worth so much more than that. And that's all I really wanted to say. If you've got any comments to make, please do so down there, you know the drill. And uh, if you're checking the channel out for the first time, thanks very much, appreciated you coming for a look. And uh, please hit that like button because that helps these videos get seen by more people. As I said, you're paid what your job is worth. Do not get confused and think that is how much you're worth because you are worth so much more than that. I'll see you next time.